Hey guys, it's Andrew again. Um, today I am going to do a tutorial. Somebody had requested that I do something that was pink and purple and kind of simple every day. So I'm gonna, I guess I'm gonna wing it and see what I can do. Um, I'm still waiting to get um, some birthday money for my mom so I can get new brushes and makeup and stuff. But, um, I am gonna begrudgingly use my, my palette that I had fallen in love with and fallen out of love with just as quickly. Um, might just be my brushes, might not be, but I found that after trying a lot of the other colors, not much payoff. Anyways, I'm gonna use this. I'd suggest you not use this. Um, just use colors that are similar. I'm going to be using this. I'm going to mix the hot pink and the current to get a medium pink color. And I will probably be mixing plum and smoky to get a medium purple color. And, um, for my highlight, I am most likely going to be using the white from the e.l.f. See if you'll actually be able to see that drama palette. You probably can't see that at all because my webcam sucks. Um, that's another thing that I should get is a real camera. My sister's camera is still broken, so I can't use that and I can't take high quality pictures. But I'm gonna deal, and I'm sorry if you guys are all freaking out about that. Anyways, I'm gonna stop rambling and start with the tutorial. So if you wanna see what I come up with, please. As always, the first thing I'm going to do is take my NYC Color Customized Compact, excuse me, Compact in Central Park, and use my eye primer from that. As you can see, I have already hit pan on that. Uh, but yeah, I'm just going to put that all over my eyelid, and that is that. <clears throat> okay, after I've got that on my eyelid, um, I brought it all the way up under my eyebrow because you never know, um, what you're going to do if you're just kind of winging it. So, the next thing I am going to do is I'm going to take this flat brush. It's this kind of little flat paddle brush. And I'm going to go into the hot pink and the current, and I'm going to put that on my inner lid. Okay, and what I did is, like I said, I just put this on my inner lid and I blended it through my crease. I have um, a space here that's completely clean and I'm going to put the smoky color there to kind of fade into the darker purple. Okay, you could actually totally... No, I'm sorry, I kind of... I got off track. Anyway, I took the smoke, the smoky color just on this brush, and I put it through the crease, and then I took a little bit more on a bigger fluffy brush, and just blended it up, um, over my socket bone. And, um, you could just put a highlight color in your corner and under your brow, and there's my cat, <laughs> and be done with it, with a little bit of mascara, but, um, I can, I'm just gonna show you this. Shadow, are you going to help? Are you going to put on makeup, too? Shadow, where are you going? You going to say hi? You going to say hi to the people? Huh? You going to say hi to all 19 of my subscribers? Oh, little man? No? Okay. So, sorry about that. I just thought I would share my adorable little Russian blue cat with you. Anyways little recap since I got off. I put the hot pink and current on my eyelid. I blended the smoky into my crease and um, socket bone. Next, I am going to take the plum color, which is this dark purple, which is actually one of the very few pigmented colors in this little quad, which I paid four bucks for it. So, I got a few really good colors in it. Uh, you win some, you lose some, and I don't have any really that good makeup anyway. That's why I am waiting for this check. 
slash cash money so bad from my mom. Anyway, I'm going to take the plum color um, and just put a very little bit on the tip of the brush that I use the smoky on. You don't even have to clean it off. And I am just going to blend it into the outer V and very, very, very lightly into the crease to give it um, a slight smoky. Okay, the um, difference isn't really showing up on camera, but see if maybe if I get a little bit closer you can see. And I think you can see it a little bit. Um, I just took it into the corner and I brought it up to about here and I just blended it back and forth. And then to get it in the V, I just swirled it around kind of in my outer tear duct area just above. Um, oh wow, I'm so good at explaining this. <laughs> I'm sorry. Um, I had a very exciting day today. Um, anyways, I've got that going on now. So I just got the hot pink and current on my lid, the smoky everywhere else, and the plum on the outer corner. Next, I am going to take one of my most trusty palettes that I have that I got for a dollar at the Meyer is my e.l.f. drama palette and I am just going to take a little bit of this white and I'm just gonna dip my brush in and look get the white all over it and I'm going to put this in my inner corner okay once I have that white in the inner corner um I forgot to mention this I also did put it under my brow bone um, I blended it up into the smoky, and I actually had to go back, just took my big fluffy brush and swirled it around in the smoky color, and I blended this white back down because I got it a little bit further. That's one thing that you always can do. You can always add more color if you need it, but it's a lot harder to take away color. So that's why I like to, I like to try and go from my lights to darks, Actually, you know what? Uh, remove that. You can always add more color, but it's a lot harder to take it away. I'm just going to leave it at that because I'll find something to nitpick, something to nitpick at, and I'm sure you guys will too. Anyways, this is my look. You could. I am not actually going to put eyeliner on. I am just going to put mascara on my top lashes. So I'm going to do that real quick, and I'll be right back with the finish. You, now, you can use whatever um, mascara you want. I'm just using my trusty old Lash Blast Lux that my sister got me. Um, you know, this look is actually pretty dark, so I think it ended up actually being a lot darker than I thought it would because the pink, like I said, didn't have a lot of color payoff. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to actually take my Color Icon pencil in white. My Wet n Wild Color Icon pencil. Sorry, I didn't say the brand in white, and I'm going to just smudge that into my waterline. Wow, my camera makes this white look a lot weirder than it is. Anyways, what this is going to do is, um, basically from afar, and even up close, it'll make your eye look a lot bigger than it is, because the darkness kind of closes it up just a little bit, I think, at least. Anyways, here is the completed pink and purple look. I'll get a little bit closer, try not to show you any cleavage. Um, you can see the pink on the eyelid, and the smokiness, um, the smoky color and the plum color, the white in the corner, and on my tear, my, um, waterline, and under my brow. I hope you enjoyed this look. Um, I'm sorry I forgot your username. I'll, um, thank you in the under ba doobly doo ma bob thing, whatever people are calling it these days. And I will see you guys later. Bye.